so much richness in Scotland and so many places to go. It's varied. Once get wild and rough, that's what it is. And then you've got the real peaceful and beautiful calmness of the, you know, the locks and the mountains and all that. You can put up a tent any place you want. And you can walk anywhere. I've lived in the Highlands all my days. It's hauntingly beautiful. Yeah, with the odd naked man running across the field, you know, <laughs> with a spear and stuff. Very green. 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 Like, it's a good mixture of colours. I guess it'd be good for our painters. I'd definitely put it on your bucket list, you know. It's beautiful. Oh. The soul of Scotland is definitely in Glasgow. We love the Wheaties. People might be a bit more tough, but aye, it's a beautiful city. The people are great. Going back now, it's been cleaned up and it's been modernised. The hub of technology. And it's a very exciting city. Glasgow University is one of the best universities in Britain. The is just lovely to see. It's a special atmosphere. You can feel something. You know, it's amazing. Your heart is free. Have the courage to follow it. The people in Scotland are uh, nosy buggers, you know. They always want to know what you're up to. That'll make them talk to you. <laughs> yes, I, I talk to anyone, really. The crowd of gossips. Talk mostly about the one that's not there. That's why you need to make sure you're there. <laughs> <laughs> Some people are lovely and kind, but then, as you show, there are people who are not so... Which is what you'd find, like, anywhere, I guess. Most of the grown men I know are pretty tough, but once in a while they'll show that bit of affection and romance and it kind of catches you off guard. What they say, Jock Tamsons Burns, but we're all different. We're a proud nation. I suppose we're a warrior race. We always defended ourselves against any invaders. I'll tell you where to go if you insult them, really. Either temperamental, half temper, half mental. <laughs> God gave me a tongue and I'm not afraid to speak. Scotland is renowned for uh, innovation going way, way back to the steam engine. The bike. Road surface. First country to successfully clone a sheep. Yeah, Dolly the Sheep. St Andrews, the home of golf. Obviously, Scotland's got a very rich history. A lot of the best inventors in the world come from Scotland. James Watt. Yes. Yeah. John Logie Baird invented the television. We got TV on our phones. Oh, the phone. The guy yeah, who created the phone was yeah. Scottish yeah. as well. <laughs> I always think television, telephone. Of all the small nations of this earth, Perhaps only the ancient Greeks surpassed the Scots in their contribution to mankind. Winston Churchill. That's they did amazing. the wheel and we did and everything else. The best of the lot was. <laughs> oh, the slang. I don't use any slang, I talk perfectly good English. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hi, the new. He gave me a bum steer and if somebody led you the wrong way. Loons and lassies. I see a woman here, like only women and lass. I'm not a lass, I'm a woman. Hogmanay, first foot of the new year. Traditionally, you'd bring shortbread and a bottle of whiskey coals for the fire. Shortbread has been on the go for a, a long time. It's a great export business. I guess. And it does give you that patriotic feel as well. Yeah. Being like, oh yes, I feel more Scottish today. A right kill, you've got a blanket on the top. That is for rolling yourself up at night and you lie down sleep in the heather. You'll look pure smart in that. Doesn't look good to have skinny legs. And at a good backside, the kilt hangs better on it. I think it's a good far away music. It never quite sounds in tune, even when it is. Whiskey, it's all over the place, my dear. Today's rain is tomorrow's whiskey. It's just beautiful stuff. Smooth. When it gets to the fringe, it's absolutely heaving. As soon as the summer months roll around and you've got all the sort of festivals kicking off, tons of people swarm here. There's a lot of different opportunities. It's very well connected. Describe it. It's the most beautiful city. Inspired some of the magic behind Harry Potter. Edinburgh Castle is an iconic landmark. The way it nearly peers down on top of you, you know, is spectacular, you know. I fell in love with the place. I never left. I was doing the walk with a torch, shining in the water, and the fish coming along your feet, and this thing come up. And I just left. You ran. And I didn't have my sword, but I would have stayed there and fought the monster. <laughs> I hope Nessie's real. I know it's cheap, probably not, but it'd just be nice. Every man that's seen the monster or told stories, as I know, they're alcoholics. A bottle of malt whiskey, drink it very, very slowly, and look through the bottle when it's empty, and you'll see the monster. <laughs> mixture of different nations that came together to make Scotland. Maybe that's why they fought with one another, because they couldn't communicate. If you were wealthy, you bought a big castle and lots of land. And if you had a piece of land, we just come and killed you, and then that was our land. If you were a wandering tribe, you kept going right down the country like that. Yeah, we're not going to take crap from anyone who tries to come at us. Had that so often in history. 
we were always taught the sort of William Wallace, Robert and Bruce stuff. Suppose they were the forerunners of rousing the Scots as a nation. People didn't really know much about them until they released Braveheart. It has inspired Scotland to a huge amount. It's a crap enough movie, but it still would bring a wee tear to your eyes. <laughs> The speech he does kind of puts me on edge, gives me the good pump, it makes me feel proud to be Scottish and things. I feel like we kind of missed out on the stuff that came later on, like Bonnie Prince Charlie and the Jacobites and stuff. Bonnie Prince Charlie didn't prepare Scots for battle. He was just a little wee global. But then England took over. <laughs> the Scots don't feel happy about that. They came in through the back door, talking to the landowners and offering money. There's only about 5 million of us here, yeah. and considering it's about 50, 60 million in England. I voted to unite with Europe. Most of Scotland voted to stay. Oh, that was a stupid decision. People have just been a far out of it, like, what's the dumb sense? It's not going to make any difference to me. At my age, is it? Hundreds of thousands of people joined the Scottish Nationalist Party. We want to be independent again. We'll get it again. I don't want that. You should stay united. I like the idea of it more and more since Brexit. The problem is whether financially they could make it work. I reckon we'd do well within the EU. Nobody in the EU seems to have a problem with Scotland. I think that there's a harshness brewing against Europe, and I don't think that's in Scotland. I wouldn't like it to get there either. You know. What I would like to see in the world is that the countries agreeing with one another. People are given the chance to vote and speak up for themselves. That's a far better way than all this fighting. It's a great country to live in. I love it. I feel pride to live here. Beautiful place to come and see it for yourself. Welcome. Everyone is welcome. East Chubac. That's what I would say. Oh, yes. East Chubac. You're welcome to come back.